overview of the, either today's presentation or parts that they want to address, maybe forgot, or something else that they'd like to bring forward for us as voters to be informed of. And we start with Chris. Answering questions in one or two minutes is a really difficult thing because, as Derek said, we, you could talk hours and days for the problems and the situations that, that are causing uh, the state its current economic situation. What we need to ask ourselves is, which direction have we been going in? You have the incumbents who've been down there. And in every election year, we've all come out, we've all heard of Every year, it's the same thing. We're going to improve jobs. We're going to improve education. We're going to improve all of these things. All of us need to look around and say, how has that improved? How is our economy? How are our education? How are, how are things being done? And again, you hear, oh, we need to cross the aisle. We need to get, we need to have bipartisan support. No, you don't. You need to have a majority. There has been a majority down in Olympia 20 or 30 years that could have stopped these problems. They could have prevented this situation. They could have addressed these issues. Derek talks about this printing press. <coughs> Never mentioned it before. Wasn't down there lobbying for any of these changes. I have not seen anybody standing up down in Olympia saying we need to put sunset clauses on these bills. We need to eliminate these programs that aren't working. The WASL should have been abolished and replaced by a, a subjective standardized test years ago. And the majority of Olympia could have done all of these things, and they've chosen not to. It's time for us to make a difference. It's time to elect me and allow me to go down and make a difference for our state. Thank you. Derek? You know, it, it strikes me that it's got to be hard uh, for voters uh, to decide what to make of three candidates when there's a lot that we agree on. You know, we agree on the importance of getting the economy cooking, uh, making sure that our schools are stronger for our kids. But, you know, I look at elections a lot like a, a, a hiring decision. And um, what I would recommend is that you check our references um, and, and look into the groups that pay attention to what's happening in Olympia. You know, folks care a lot about jobs and working to strengthen our economy, and that's what I do for a living. That's why I was named the Legislative Business Star by Enterprise Washington's Business Institute and the Leader of the Year by the Washington Economic Development Association. It's why I've received early endorsements from the home builders and from the Farm Bureau and from an association that Marty's a part of, the Association of Realtors. Folks care a lot about education. That's why I work hard for stronger schools. And that's why I was the Vocational Education Administrator's Legislator of the Year and why I've been early endorsed by the League of Education Voters. In our area, we have one of the largest populations of military and veteran families in the state, and we are a stronger community for that. It's why I've worked hard on their behalf, passing three new laws supporting our veteran-owned businesses. That's why I received an award from the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Folks care about public safety in our community, and I'm proud to have received the endorsements of our sheriffs and our prosecutors and our deputy skills, and why a couple years ago I was the Council of Police and Sheriffs Legislator of the Year. And I've worked hard on behalf of each of the communities that I represent. That's why I'm very grateful that all three mayors and a majority of every city council in all three cities I represent, Democrats and Republicans, have endorsed my campaign. These are difficult times. And we've got to get things going. You know, there are key questions. What type of jobs do we get? What is the future of Olympic College? How do we meet our constitutional obligation to our kids? I promise you I will keep working hard for you on those issues, being an independent voice, and I'm asking for your vote. Thank you. Please hold the applause till the end. Thank you. Marty? People are, I think, I believe, are tired of the same old, same old of uh, politics as usual. So we've gotten, we've got reports of ghost bills and behind closed door sessions in our federal government and in our local government. We've got an out, out of control spending, which we've heard over and over and over again. We've got problems with our schools. We've all agreed that we need one better school and one better jobs. Um, what, what people want is action. 
they want something resolved. They don't want to be talked about. They don't want to, that things that we're talking about this. We're forming a committee for this. We're looking at. They want action. They want jobs to start being created now. They want the spending to stop now. I'm running for office because I'm a doer. I'm a guy that sees something not being done, and I want to get more to go and work together and get it done. You want a clear difference between Derek and I and we're running and Chris, of course. We have some similarities. There are differences, though, too. In our thing, uh, Derek voted for $500 million in new taxes in 2005, a 33% increase in state spending in 2005 2008. In 2009, despite the pay facing a $9 billion deficit, he proposed $349 million in new spending, which is kind of why we got into the problem with taxes in the first place. Derek talked about being a, a small business guy. I'm a small business guy. I work in, in, in the business. I work with you guys. The NFIB, the Washington Retail Association, and the AWB give them failing grades, Fs and D minuses. If those business organizations say Derek's not doing a good job, then I agree with them. Because we need to create jobs in the private sector, not the public sector. I appreciate the service Derek has given to our country, to our state. I want to go down and, and provide service for the state as well, but provide real change, real jobs, growth, and, and, and get this economy turned around so we get people back to work again. I'm to ask for your support and your vote. Thank you. All right. I'd like to thank all our candidates for coming out this early morning. Now's that time for our welcome.